Say hello to your brand new Crossland X. We'd love to be showing you around in person, but right now it's safer if you watch this video to get to know your new vehicle better. To keep you protected, your new car has been thoroughly cleaned and sanitized throughout. Now let us show you around. First, there's the key. You can lock and unlock just by pressing these buttons on the remote. Inside, you can lock and unlock the car using this button on the dashboard. And to start the engine, simply pop the key in the ignition. Once you're inside, you can slide the seat backwards and forwards using the lever here, underneath the front of the seat. And you can use this lever here to move the front seat up and down. You can also adjust the angle of the backrest using this rotary wheel to the side of the seat. You can also adjust the steering wheel. Just pull this lever here under the steering wheel column. You can move the steering wheel in and out and up and down. Then push the lever back into place to secure the steering wheel position. The electric door mirrors can be adjusted using the controls on the door. Just push the switch left and right to adjust each door mirror to its best position for you. Your Crossland X will either be equipped with air conditioning or electronic climate control. Electronic climate control can be controlled in two ways, by using your touchscreen or by using your dials. Here you can adjust the heater, air conditioning and fan speed to your chosen temperature. There are two temperature settings, so you can have different temperatures on each side of the car. To clear your windscreen, simply press this button and turn the fan speed to maximum. For the rear screen, simply press this button here. This will also demist your wing mirrors. To activate cruise control, just press this button here. Drive up to the speed you want and flick the thumb wheel down to set that speed. A quick dab of the brakes will pause cruise control. You can then reset it by flicking the thumb wheel back up again. To turn speed limiter on, just press here. You can then set the speed using the thumb wheel here and activate it using this button. Use that button again to pause it and to switch it off completely, press here. All your important info is shown on the driver instrument display in front of you. To access it, simply twist the control at the end of the indicator stalk to find everything from oil life, fuel range and tyre pressures. You can view the different menus by pressing here and select the section you require by twisting this dial. If any of the lights on your instrument cluster start flashing, please don't ignore them. Check your owner's manual or contact your local Vauxhall retailer. If your new Crossland X has parking sensors, they can be turned on and off here. If you opted for front parking sensors, they will be controlled in the same way. There's also a panoramic rear view camera on some models, which gives you an extra wide view of the blind spots behind and to the sides of your car. Lane departure warning warns you if you're moving outside of the lane markings without actively steering or indicating. It can be switched on and off again here. Also standard is the speed sign recognition system, which automatically detects road warning signs and displays them on the driver instrument panel in front of you. Some models also have Vauxhall Connect, which works through an app on your mobile. You'll find an emergency call and breakdown button above the rear view mirror. Simply go online to connect.voxall.co.uk to create your account. In the centre of the dashboard, you'll see your infotainment system. Depending on your model, you'll either have a 7-inch or an 8-inch touchscreen. To connect via Bluetooth, just press the phone button here, then Options, Bluetooth Connection and Connect using your phone. Alternatively, you can search for BT Vauxhall on your phone and confirm the code which appears. To access Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, just plug in the phone using a USB cable. You also control the DAB digital radio using the touchscreen. Save your favourite stations by selecting a radio station and then holding one of the numbers at the bottom of the screen. If you have SatNav, press the Nav button here to access it. Choose between a 2D or 3D setting and enter your destination. There's also a points of interest search function, which will help you to find your nearest dealership, hotel or petrol station. The lighting controls are to the right of the steering wheel on this cluster here. Here you have the side and dipped light settings, which you can switch on and off here. 
If your car is equipped with automatic lighting, you'll also see an auto setting, which means they will automatically switch on or off, depending on the lighting outside. To turn on your fog lights, simply press the buttons in the centre of the dial. For full beam, push the left-hand stalk away from you. To flash your full beams, pull it towards you. If your Crossland X has also got automatic wipers, simply push up the stalk to the right of your steering wheel once to set automatic wipers, which will then adjust to the rain outside. If you need to change the setting, use the centre of the stalk to increase or decrease wiper speed. Push up the stalk further for constant low speed and up again for the fastest. To control the rear wiper, twist the end of the stalk. Pull the stalk towards you to squirt wiper wash on your front screen and away from you to wash the rear screen. You'll find the ISOFIX mounts in the rear outer seats. Some Crossland X models feature electric child-proof locks, which can be remotely operated to prevent the rear doors and power windows being opened from the inside. The button LED is illuminated and accompanied by a confirmation message. This LED remains lit until the child lock is switched off again. To activate manually, turn the red child lock in the rear door inwards to the horizontal position by using a key. Be sure to test the doors are locked from the inside. To deactivate, turn the child lock to the vertical position. To open the bonnet, pull this lever in the passenger footwell, like this. Then push the catch to the left of the bonnet and lift. It will stay open by itself. You'll find the washer fluid here. To check your oil, look for the dipstick here and the oil filler cap here. Your owner's manual tells you how to top up your oil correctly. You'll find the fuel cap on the passenger side of the vehicle. Simply push it open and unscrew the cap. Should you need more boot space, pull the lever at the top of the seats and fold flat like this, or all together like this. Under the floor of the boot, you'll see there is either a spare wheel or the emergency tyre inflation kit. If you have a diesel engine, you'll also notice a smaller blue cap, which is for refilling the AdBlue tank. If your Crossland X is fitted with the blue injection system, it'll need AdBlue refills about every 2,500 to 4,000 miles, depending on your engine and driving style. Your dashboard indicator will alert you when any fluid levels are low. Your Crossland X comes with a three-year vehicle warranty, a one-year unlimited mileage warranty, then your second and third years with a 60,000-mile limit. Vauxhall Assistance comes with every new Vauxhall for 12 months from first registration and covers accident assistance, roadside recovery and an at-home service. Even better, it's a free phone call away and available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have any questions, your local retailer will be happy to help. We hope you enjoy your new Crossland X.